Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on how you can use the slice tool in Cricut Design Space. I came up with three different tips and tutorials that you can use that'll definitely help you guys with the slice tool. The slice tool enables you to cut out certain pieces in shapes, in words. Um, it, there's a whole variety of things that it can do. I think it's a really unique way to make a shirt or make a design have a little bit more contrast. So first you want to go right here over to shapes and click the shape that you want. I just chose a heart in this case um, and just for purposes I'll change it to green and then what we're going to do is going to write the text. So write anything you want. We're going to shrink it to the custom size that you want. So now just as I'm being nitpicky I just want to align it and make sure that it is in the center of the heart which it is. So all you have to do is simply drag your mouse, highlight this, and click slice right over here. And then you pull this away and pull this away. So these are just two extras that we don't need at all. So you can delete those and voila. Here's the first way that you can use the slice tool. So this is the second tip on how you can use the slice tool. So this is one of my favorite ways that I can actually use the slice tool. And I don't know if you guys notice, but sometimes when you have a specific font, um, a lot of the times the first letter won't connect with the rest of the word, especially for script fonts. So to visualize it a little bit better, hold on, I need to change it to the font. It's called Streetlight. So I changed it right here. As you see, when you first start out with this, it's all spaced out. And the second thing to notice is that right here, the F doesn't have another, I guess you can call attachment, that connects it to the O. Because usually when we write in script, you know, pen and paper, we make it all connect. So, for example, you just take the letter spacing right here and you connect it. In this case, we're going to have to ungroup it. So first, we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to create this line space right here to how we want it. So I'm just going to make this super big just so you guys can see in reference. So now what we do is we click the ungroup button and then we're going to just move this right over and move the O right over. And so for here, we can move this here and we can call it a day right there. I know most people sometimes, depending on you know how I want it or how the client wants it, this is totally fine. Um, but sometimes there's instances where I really want it, how it's like this and everything kind of just flows right here. So what I do is I duplicated this and I'm gonna take, I like the B in this situation. So I'm gonna ungroup all of these, highlight it, delete what I don't need and take the B right here. Now we're going to use the slice tool in this situation. And if it makes it easier, make this a little bit bigger for you. So I'm going to take a shape. I think a square will probably work best in this situation. And if you want to make a rectangle, all you have to do is click that unlock button right there. And just to so I can see this a little bit better, I'm going to move this to the front. So that way we can actually see what we're cutting right here. So you want to basically overlay this um, to where you want the area. So for example, I really just like this section right here. Um, I don't want anything else with the B. So having difficulties here. So I need to keep kind of adjusting it. You know, actually this probably looks best because I really just need here and here. So now again, we're going to do what we learned in the first step is highlight both of these items and then click the slice tool. Sometimes if you don't get it on the first try, that is completely okay, um, but I actually did. So now these, all of these items do not need, so delete, delete, and delete. So now I'm going to zoom in on here just so you guys can see a bit better. We're just going to make it as small as we can to however we want it and place it right there. And 
look at that and now it looks like it's completely connected and then just to make sure you just want to group it so all of the items are together and you can move it around so that is the second tip for the slice tool and for the third tip i find that this is probably one of the most um, asked questions that a lot of people in Facebook groups, um, beginner Cricut users always have, um, especially me because I could not find this anywhere. I had to dig through Google and YouTube to find this tip. A lot of people what they do is they take a design and they create it and they use several objects in it or several layers and they find that they can't use the slice tool that it's hidden. So for example, I'm going to do exactly what I did here, so I'm going to make just three hearts for this purpose. And I'm just going to duplicate all of these. And I'm going to align them not perfectly, but almost there. And if you really want them straight, all you have to do is go to Align and click Align Bottom. So now, say for example, you want to put names in the heart. So I'm just going to put my name in all of them for these purposes. Actually, I'm going to change this to a lighter color so it's easier. Let me just do this. And so now we have this. So we're going to duplicate, duplicate and move them all in here. And so say, ready? I'm about to highlight this and slice, and look what happens. Not here. Not an option, can't click it, won't do anything. So a lot of people, what they don't realize is that when they have a multi-layered design, aka these three hearts right here, you have to weld them. I can definitely make a different video on welding because welding is literally a, another subject and it's hard to kind of master um, so what you want to do is you want to highlight all of these and click weld so that way they're all attached they're all together but once you weld something you cannot unweld it so make sure it's that's exactly how you want it and now I have to send this to the front I can go like this highlight it and look the slice tool is available so then you do that for each and every one. That's what a lot of people don't realize is that when they are using the slice tool, a lot of the times it won't allow you to slice it because the item that you're trying to slice is not welded already. Um, so yeah, but that is basically how you learn this trick. So there you have it. And this is all perfect. Now I can move it around, switch it around and it's all welded. So that is the third tip for the slice video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you liked this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Thanks guys I'll see you next week. Bye!